Maintaining vigilance in the Baltic Sea region is the goal for the Baltops exercise. Doing that requires all hands on deck, and U.S. Marines are working with their Latvian counterparts, participating in an amphibious assault scenario with Latvian soldiers playing the role of opposing forces. Our job is to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy by fire and maneuver or repel their assault by fire and close combat. So our job today was to assault and clear this beach. From water to shore, Marines are prepared to fight and defeat in any scenario, but they require constant training to maintain those skills. This is the Marine Corps' major muscle movement. We're operational forces from the sea. Doing this kind of exercise gets us back to our core strengths. It also strengthens our partnership with the Baltic nations and shows that we are prepared to keep NATO strong and that we can operate anywhere in the world. For these reserve Marines, leaving their home station and learning to operate in new locations allows them to gain experience and understanding of how the U.S. works alongside other countries' militaries. The biggest thing is getting our company out of our comfort zone. It's easy for us to go train in places in the States, but none of us had ever been to this part of Europe. So just a chance to work with our NATO partners in their home country and to see different terrain is invaluable. That's really going to be the biggest takeaway. Baltops is in its 45th iteration and continues to support the strong bond between NATO partners, allies, and the U.S. Staff Sergeant Emma Mayen, Vent Spills, Latvia.